How you doing, buddy? Spirit and check. Welcome. This is part of the series again. We're going to talk about how to efficiently extract the valuable content that's stuck in subject matter experts' heads. Okay. Now, this is specifically for B2B companies, for you marketers out there. I focus definitely on the SMB side. So I spent decades working with you know, B2B companies. A lot of times you have subject matter experts that are the implementers, the sellers, the you name it. They're the people inside the organization that really help customers be successful in pre-sales, post-sales, during implementations, whatever that may look like. Typically it's, you know, in the software space. They have a ton of knowledge, right? Marketers like, ooh, can we just extract that content? Can you go write a blog, please? <laughs> okay, the problem with subject matter experts is they're billable. <laughs> Right, they're billable. So anybody looking at the spreadsheet is like, uh, you're not billing as much as you possibly can. Let's get you focused on working to customers where we can those beautiful invoices that keeps the whole thing going. But so how do you do it? I think a lot of companies have been, hey, how do you, you know, I think the the culture in the last kind of for sure five to ten years, people will be naturally more to create blog content and you know, uh, employees inside the companies being more willing to do it. My argument is like, look, unless you're a writer. Like, unless that is your thing, it's like, it's not a natural thing, right? Writing is, it takes skill, but it takes a certain love for it. And so if you try to force something, it's, it doesn't go well. So let's look at, you know, how can we potentially make this effective? If you look at subject matter experts, like anybody inside an organization, most of the time, we're really good at talking. <laughs> we love our meetings, right? Even if you're talking to a customer, or you're talking to pre-sales, doesn't matter. Like B2B is a lot of interaction, a lot of talking. Talking is a natural thing that humans do. We naturally do it. It's relatively easy. It's also very time efficiency. So the first thing, and I'm sure this is nothing new, is, hey, interview that subject matter expert and record the call, right? So you can transcribe it. The biggest objections I always hear is like, well, I don't know how to interview them. We need an expert to extract that content, the valuable knowledge. So now I do somewhat agree that, yes, if you get, you know, I've interviewed thousands of people worldwide through interviews, through directing, etc. So yes, I do have, you know, the skill and the knowledge how to yank something out, you know, relatively quickly and listen for the things and get to the to the gold content. But there's actually just a, some very basic fundamental tricks that you can anybody can do that. Where subject matter experts really kind of struggle when you get a sheet of paper that's something blank, right? Like a blank sheet of paper and you like start writing, the, the human mind struggles because there's no direction. But if they're on a call, they're in a customer, a customer asks them the questions, they're in a certain scenario, we naturally, subject matter experts, can answer that question easily. So as the marketer, when you do that, you have to come in with an interview mindset saying, set up framework, set up a scenario. Now, a lot of the time people say, well, I can set up a scenario that we've already done. I want something new. I want something new content. Okay, if you want brand new content, go use AI. AI will give you the exact topic titles you need to talk to. That's a different topic. We're going to talk about that in the future. But really, at the beginning is just get a subject matter expert talking. So here's how I fundamentally, the thing to do it is put a scenario. Say to the subject matter expert, listen, we're going to sit down for a half an hour. We're going to do this over virtually team, Zoom, whatever. We're going to record the call and I'm just going to put out a scenario in there and we're going to get you to start talking. Tell them there is no right there is no wrong. I just want you to start talking because as soon as the subject matter expert starts talking, they're going to naturally get into the good stuff. A lot of people don't realize that. All you got to do is get a person talking. The way you do them is ask them questions. So you can set up, it's, hey, Jim, we're talking to this customer right now about this problem. Okay, get, get some a mindset of like visualizing what they're talking about. It doesn't matter if you've already done a bunch of webinars or a bunch of you know content around this, it doesn't matter. Just you gotta start, that's the only thing. And then the next thing is I say, okay, can you tell me, right? Let's say customer's name's Mark. And you say, hey, can you tell me what Mark would ask? Can we tell, what are the 15 questions that Mark would ask? Then all of a sudden subject matter experts start talking about these questions. And the first thing you can do is just, hey, let's just go define the questions and then let's answer them one by one, right? So you can either do that in two calls. You can define the questions on the first, like a 15 minute call. I like doing what's called 30 under 30. So do 30 questions under 30 minutes and actually focuses everyone to extract the questions, but don't answer them. Right? Because subject matter experts, anybody's like, you ask a question, there are immediate responses to answer it. And you can actually separate that for two calls. 
So just to extract the questions, which are generally the topics, you can say, hey, we're going to do it in 30 minutes. We're going to record the call and we're going to go 30 questions. And what's going to really happen is I do this all the time. Past 20, it's going to be a struggle. And that, then you can cut it off, but you'll be easily see how much content comes out. Then on a separate call, you can actually say, here's the scenario. Here's the question. And then they start talking. And naturally, it will start sparking new ideas and new conversations. And especially if you do this on a regular basis, and you'd be surprised of how much new content, how much gold content comes out. Now you have to record the call because a lot of the times this is not going to work when you're taking notes. Forget that because you, how many times we've said, oh, that was really good. Can you say that again? That's what the record button's for, people. And then take it and transcribe it. And yes, there's going to be pages and pages of transcriptions. You can also hire somebody to clean it up and to ex, you know, extract it, but that is a much easier way, a cost efficient way to get that content out of the subject matter experts heads and sift through it. And even if you ditch 80% of the content out of the conversation, because it's already being covered, guaranteed that 20% of content that's in there is going to produce blog after blog after blog or different titles and ideas and social snippets and LinkedIn content, ton of valuable content. This is kind of a secret that a lot of content creators do. You know, I shoot a lot of content like this on video. I do video first, then it gets transcribed, then it gets yanked into podcasts, then it gets cut into social snippets and forth. And the only thing I ever did is just talk to that lens, <laughs> right? I mean, focused on one topic, but that's all I did is that is the most efficient way to extract that content. So really, if you think about making the extraction process for the subject matter experts easy just by yanking out the content, asking questions or pointing down a scenario. And what's the worst thing that's going to happen? You know, you record something for half an hour and it didn't go anywhere. Who cares? Scrap it. But it's just a half an hour. But nobody had to write anything. Nobody had to start from scratch. It was just a recording, even if you transcribe it. I mean, what transcriptions are what? A buck 20 a minute on uh, Rev? I mean, so it's going to cost you 35 bucks or 40 bucks to transcribe something. You're going to have a ton of content. If you throw it out, it doesn't really matter. The odds of nothing being in there are zero to none. In fact, 50% of that content is usually valuable. And that's how you extract it. Now, the thing is, the subject matter expert didn't have to do any work. So the next time you phone him up and say, hey, John, can I have half an hour on a Zoom call or Teams call? Can we just record it? And we're just going to answer some questions. He or she's probably going to say yes right? And that's the whole thing that you want them to do is to make them, you know, looking at content creation is to be a very easy process and you'll have a much better time extracting the valuable content from all the subject matter experts, including the executives, by the way, inside your organization. All right. Until next time, my name is Peter Matchek. Please do check out workflowx.io because we've got awesome, awesome workflows to really save 50% of time, you know, for marketers so they can do and achieve uh, a lot more without adding stress to your life, without adding people to your team and without adding large budgets. All right. Thanks so much. My name is Peter Matchek. Until next time.